Okay, well we're back, and as as it was meant to be, we're back with more Oblivion. The squad of heroes comes today, today, today. All right. Okay. So, on the last episode of Tycho Dragon, Oblivion time. Um. Now we're. Before we go any further, this is a heavily modded build. <coughs> heavily, obviously, this cape not was in the original Oblivion. Now I'm also a mystic elf, which is much mystery to be absolved about the mystic elf. And his name was Tycho Draconius. <laughs> a great elf warrior. But he has a quest, so he is gonna... Last night I just cheesed it and fucking transported. Here, let's go. I've been told by Zero's followers in an offering of glow dust. Summon Daedra, she's on a quest. I believe I already did this. <coughs> I didn't. Oh shit, did I not save? Is a potential I didn't save. Shit. Fine. We'll catch up on the last episode of Tycho Draconius. Oh, I have seen your name, traveler, and heard it whispered in twilight. I heard it whispered. the service. Don't promise of fame and reward. Don't promise the fame and reward. Many years ago. I figure what happened to this quest. Definitely time for another Oblivion playthrough. This game's great. Knowing their fate, they sealed themselves up in the vampire's lair. Their the vampire suffering lair. weighs heavily on me. Travel to the gutted mine. The oh yeah, she knows she, she gets you going to the gutted mine. death to my followers. And you shall earn my gratitude. Yes, ma'am. A little bubble log, bubble log, gutted mine. Okay, let's go up here. It's just right up here. I was trying to get in the gutted mine before. It didn't fucking work. Ooh, what's that? Peaceful will o wisp. <coughs> yes. Welcome to now. This is running, running all manner of mods, creatures. It's a fairly stable build. There is an odd glitch sometimes, mostly when I minimize it. There'll be an odd crash to desktop, but it's manageable. Highly manageable. Two, like I said, there's two types of crashes there's manageable and unmanageable. An unmanageable crash is a I hope this is going the right way. We better check on that. There's a cool castle up there we can check out. But let's make sure on this going the right way thing. Going the wrong way. Oblivion's, Oblivion's a deceiving, deceptively big game. Always, you always think it's so... That, but it's like that. Because it should be anywhere. Should be around here. <coughs> dun, dun. Oh shit, I lost all my commandments. It's fine, we're going alone. We're blitzing the main quest. Of course, we didn't do up to Hero of Kavach because everybody should enjoy that and go do that themselves. It's a nice little start to oblivion. Oh! Oh no, that looks like a vampire. Definitely vampire. Yeah. 
quite tough, actually. Ooh. That's no joke. I could really use those companions. Tia. Let's just save to that. <coughs> oh yeah, and I guess I could put my armor on and shit. Ooh, that's maybe why I was getting my ass kicked a little bit. Oh, Paul, this is gone. Armor really affects you in this game. <laughs> you just say she should cut down on Neo. Max over HP. I'm scared. God. Ah! guys are much harder than my fighting. Oh! Ah. Scared. I'm scared. It's fine. The graphics mod, it's so good. It's like actually scary. Nothing I want in here. This is a clear out mission, so we'll just head towards where it's good. Going third person because I am quite terrified. Need to get torches. Let's see if we can find any torches around. Dun, 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 dun. See where? There we go. Remember, whenever in doubt in oblivion, check your map. That that is the the law of oblivion. Ooh, sneaky vampires. Combat is actually quite sick in this. You really have to. It's more realistic. It's more. Um. Yeah. It's very realistic. It's like, uh. Divin um. Kingdom Come Deliverance. Always a good one. I've killed the vampires or returned to the shrine. If I can get out of here, this this is bound to be a cock and a half to get out of here. Dun, 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 dun. Love how this game in 2023 is spectacularly creepy. I was not enjoying with those vampires. The fucking vampires. Ooh, be careful with that. There we go, some some plunder from this. But it has been what it the the main quest of Oblivion is pretty fucking brutal. Its first little bit is is brutal. Very brutal, that's for sure. <coughs> the shrine, return to my peoples. Maybe they just couldn't reach up here and they'll eventually find them. 
I must go alone. I extinguish the vampires alone with a noble lord. You know, I'm putting my people at risk. The noble knight Aragoth. Tycho Draconius. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. <clears throat> and then go down there. Oh. Well spring. There shall be power. Oh, look at that texture, hey? I mean, I guess it works from a distance. It does what it needs to do, but man, oblivion, parts of oblivion have not aged well. You can tell it. I feel like that looks so pretty okay from looking like that. Decent enough from a distance. Oh my god. Oh, my companions. Knighted once more. But most of Oblivion is perfectly tolerable, especially with mods. Almost kind of has a little nostalgia. It's so like early 2000s. Welcome to Oblivion. I wanted to do this project just because I think it's really cool how I have this Oblivion build at, and I wanted to catalog what a what a first playthrough would be. Why is the attack horse? I hope stuff. I can help. <laughs> I hope I can help. <laughs> attacking the horse. He's gonna go back to attacking it. Watch. Just get on it. And see if he doesn't. He won't attack me. Oh, he's just like practicing. Be cautious, horse. Thank you, mortal. Their spirits are free, and henceforth, above my shrine, five bright candles shall burn forever in memory of their sacrifice. Hmm. For your service, take this token that your deeds might be entered in the book of fate. Dun, dun, dun. Sir is Mark thanked me for the following positive. She awarded me with the Zero Star. Did your tire factor Martin needs food ritual. Also believe that's something you can use to Okay, well we gotta get back to Martin, it looks like, which is stellar because I wanted to go back there anyway. Cloud Ruler Temple has is so nice and nostalgic y. Remember Skyrim rules people. Unless absolutely critical. Like the previous time I played with absolutely critical to <clears throat> to have it so that you you always never fast travel because you always have to get the adventure in. See like for example how the fuck am I gonna get back there? Yeah, that's, that's kind of a cool little place. Let's try and just go up this way. It's clear we have a journey. And I mean, like, these games are meant to do that. See, Skyrim kind of did it good at the beginning because there was so much to explore that, and you could only go through certain points. So right off the bat, unless you use cheats, right off the bat, you couldn't really get much of it. It encouraged you to travel. Oh, I'm a smoker. But what I did with this build is that you'll see, you'll see, like, hugely way more notification plus i got some that go into the other lands but you'll notice like a shitload of locations that you never would have ever found it's so big like this main section here i've spent the, i'll definitely eventually explore down there once i'm done with the questing of Tycho draconius up here but this land mass here it's got to be insane like, I just have to get from here to here, and you'll see how long it is. And what a dream it would be to have all this. You know? What a fucking dream. Oops. But we, we have to just keep tracking. I knew I wanted this build for so badly. It was sick. Ooh. It's been sick so far. Looks like I'm going to have to climb up these mountains quite a bit. We go with, we come with, we go with. 
into an adventure thine go. We're gonna be playing we're gonna be playing a lot of this. We're gonna be uploading it all to takeadragon.com. <laughs> Motherfuckers ain't seen shit like this before. I'm a comedian. Suck my titties and jack me off. We have to do it. It's for the greater good. I believe in thine self. As a mystic elf of the Emporium. We go all, all night long, baby. Ooh. Ooh. Just feel the atmosphere. It's, you know, you know what gaming can do is it has atmospheric effects. Oblivion with its dynamic weather for systems have this this like crazy effect on your atmospheric. A giant, this giant spider over there. It gets stuck in here. There were dead giant spiders. And sorry I can't list all the mods I have for this. I mean, like, honestly, really all you gotta do is go to Nexus Mods, read some tutorials on modding, and then, uh, and then just go to fucking town with it. Customize your all like, I like ENBs. ENBs are e pretty easy. As, what are they fighting? ENBs are pretty easy to, to set up. But I mean, like, look at the results here as they're fighting. It looks like a whole new game. There's just no comparison to a stock Oblivion. Welcome to Oblivion. Okay, we're going out. Going up and out. Up and over. Up and over, over. We're, we're reaching into the highlands here, folks. Yeah, let's just go like that. Oh, we, we're actually, we'd be smart to just he head along the road. Get feel for the train, feel for the oblivion train. And I think that there's just there's just a certain magical element that games just don't really capture like Oblivion captures. You know, the sense of adventure is it, <clears throat> and as Skyrim ha modded Skyrim has a similar feel to this as well. Is that you just never know really what you're gonna find. It <laughs> if you have enough mods added to add creatures and all kinds of shit, who knows what you're gonna find. And that's that's what part of makes it such a thrill. Oh. It is forest combat mods, although I prefer to kept it off for this playthrough. I'll probably add it in the future, but I'm I'm, vi I'm pretty stable right now, so I want to just sit. I want to have where the fuck is the horse? Oh, for fuck's sake, the fucking horse is gone. Gowhoon. You wish to have the power. Oh, it's dark out now. Unfortunately, I think I remember from before we do not have a torch, but what we can do is hope. Ladies, grab I a torch. Hope I, can help. I hope I can help. Party items, torch on, there we go. Nice. Oh, this should be put to it. There we go. Oh. Oh, it's because of that thing, isn't it? Oh, you fucking dumbasses. Okay, anyway, it's, it's lightened up a bit. We can make it to Bruma. We must make it to Bruma. Let's 
just so beautiful. What a game. Just something about it. Something. I mean, the mods definitely help. Let's be real. If I was playing stock Oblivion on an Xbox 360 now, it'd have to be. It'd have to be a, a sincerely shithole moment. What the fuck is going on? Zombie. Someone summoned zombie. What's oh, up, that bastard? Does he have anything of use on him? Nope. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Travel through oblivion. <clears throat> Slaying of those vampires, the returning to home base. It's all too much. Still have those weird gauntlets on. Oh, we've reached Bruma County. Oh, yes. The comforts and warmths of Bruma are here. Welcome and welcome, we have all the cheer. We shall be fairy and merry and bright. We get back to Joffrey and Joffrey will be right. Let's see, we're gonna just cut to the chase and head to those fuckers up there. And then we'll hit the town of Bruma in the night nightfall. There's clearly like with the dynamic uh, better cities and um, unique landscapes. Two amazing mods. They don't work very well together, but you gotta get this mod called Land Magic and it helped me. You can tell there's some artifacts on land, but the fact that you got massively expanded open world um, visualization, kind of so to speak, or like uh, detail. And then also massively detailed cities. It will, it makes it feel like a whole new game. Like I think that there was a lot less trees and shit. It's a lot less forested and felt a lot less lived in as as what this uh, dynamic landscapes gives you. It's utterly sick. It's sick as fuck. It's sick as fuck. It's fucking sick. It's as sick as fuck. Oh, those weird gauntlets are still on me. Welcome to Oblivion. Oblivion's here to stay. We gotta report all this shit to Joffrey. We've been fighting vampires at the fucking Azuras. Statue, talking to statues, in fucking around in the Imperial City. Must return to Joffrey. He has answers. Answers needed. Questions. Questions need answers. We shall find the truth. Hey. Hello, Joffrey. You should be gathering the items Martin needs for the Mysterium Zaxis ritual. I have them now. May your. The next section of the Mysterium Zaxis is very difficult. I haven't deciphered the rest of the ritual yet. I hope you are making better progress. I won't ask what you went through to obtain this, my friend. I know all <laughs> John the Bean. depravity of the princes of oblivion. Lord Bean himself. Are you himself. ready to give me the artifact? Remember, the ritual will consume its physical form. It won't be seen again on Tamriel for many years. Ah, Azura Star. As beautiful as all the tales tell. Can I do to help? You should talk to Joffrey. He needs your help. Trouble down in Bruma, I think. Oh, trouble in Bruma. We're gonna, we're bringing trouble to yeah. Bruma, right? I just received word from the Countess of Bruma that an Oblivion gate has opened outside the city. Ah, oh, fuck. We're gonna have to it go It seems that the Mythic yeah. Dawn are putting their plan to attack Bruma into motion. Since you've dealt with these gates before, I'd like you to help the Countess's guard close this gate. Once they've seen how it's done, they should be able to handle any new gates on their own. Captain Bird is waiting for you outside the Bruma City Gate. 
Ugh, I'm gonna have to go deal with these fuckers. With Bird That's okay, we'll, we're gonna... Closed, we'll, we'll, we'll speed run that gate. Hello, Varys. Hey, Talos guide you. What can you tell me about Whatever Cloud Ruler Temple? I haven't been to Cloud Ruler since I was a young trainee. It feels good to be back. The blades have always been here, and always will be. May Talos guide you. It's my pleasure. Farewell. What is it, my? What is it? What is it, Sean Bean? Farewell, my friend. Okay, well, looks like we're gonna have to go close a gate. A gate. Let's just have you helped, explore. Captain? Don't have forget, Captain up. Bird your help Jeffrey. to close the Oblivion Jeffrey. Gate outside of Bruma. Like, listen to this case. So watch this. I'll walk away. Right? You, what do you need, friend? Walk away. I'll walk up to him. Let me say it. Come on, Joffrey, say it. Are you gonna say it? So have you helped the Bruma God yet? Yeah, what the fuck? Good afternoon, sir. Have you helped Captain <laughs> Bird and his men close <laughs> the Oblivion yet? Shut up, Joffrey, you fucking cunt. Bastard Joffrey. You're a bastard Joffrey, you know that? Look at, look at his, my guy's face. He's just not impressed at all Joffrey's transgressions. Have you helped Captain Bird <laughs> and close the Oblivion? <laughs> just keep saying it. <laughs> That's good. Okay, good we'll bring yes? bring a disciple with me as well. See, I think that there's, there's got to be something to this. Here, let's go. Partners ring. No. Oh, they all. Yes? We need to see how to... You can just allow them to kind of just stay there. Ideally, I could have. Oops. Ideally, I could just like have them all spawn. I know in Bolivia, in Skyrim, there's a way to do that. In Oblivion, they're a little bit more frantic. Okay, well, that'll be good. Let's do it with us. Greetings to you. We'll just see. We'll just observe to see how. Because I'm pretty sure when you do that stay thing, they're just like gonna, they're just gonna hold up there. Just feel the ambiance of this. It's just beautiful. Welcome. Please don't be shy. I'm well, Sean Bean, what do you what do you what do you know for sure? What is it, my friend? <laughs> what is it, my friend? Farewell, my friend. Farewell, my friend. Oh, Bean. Oh, how we love you, Bean. Good afternoon, sir. Du -du -du -du. Sitting by the fire in oblivion. How good is this? How rich is this? How beautiful is this? Just utterly amazing. Okay, well, tune into next episode.